Kaylee Lang, and I'm from McGraw, New York. What we are here to do is not a natural, easy thing for any of us. We have come here to be with conscientious men and their hour of conscience. And because like them, we cannot stand around with dry feet while wisdom and decency go under for the third time in Vietnam. This week, once again, high government officials describe protesters against the war as naive, wild-eyed idealists. But in our view, it is not wild-eyed idealism, but cleared-eyed revolution that brings us here. For as one of our number put it, if what the United States is doing in Vietnam, what is there left to be called right? Many of us are veterans, and we all have the highest sympathy for our boys in Vietnam. They know what a dirty, bloody war it is. But they have been told that the ends justify the means, and that the cleansing water of victory will wash clean their hands of all blood and dirt. But what they must strive to understand, hard as it is, is that there can be no cleansing water if military victory spells moral defeat. As the war to us is immoral, so also is the draft. It confronts thousands of men with the choice of either violating their consciences or going to jail. Still, to stand in this fashion against the law and before our fellow Americans is a difficult and even fearful thing. But in the sight of what of us is insane and inhuman, we can fall neither silent nor servile. Nor can we educate young men to be conscientious, only to desert them in their hour of conscience. So we are resolved, as they are resolved, to speak out clearly and to pay up personally. Thank you. Thank you.